Hello all, let's uh, learn some more input devices by this session. This is to introduce you about joystick, touchpad, trackball, video digitizer, and remote control. Let's see what's a joystick. It's also a pointing device which is used to move the cursor position on a monitor screen. It is a stick having a spherical ball at its both lower and upper ends. The lower spherical ball moves in a socket. The joystick can be moved in all four directions. The function of the joystick is similar to that of a mouse. It is mainly used in computer aided designing that is CAD and playing computer games. You may have experienced this type of input device while you are playing uh, computer games. So it will help the movement in four directions. Next one is touchpad. Touchpad is also called a trackpad. is a type of input device for computers that does the same thing as a computer mouse. It is made up of a flat touch sensitive surface which the user slides one or more fingers on to move the cursor on the screen. Next to the touchpad are push buttons that work just like mouse buttons including left clicking and right clicking. We can do the um, um, left click and right click as in mouse uh, in this um, touchpad also. In other, in uh, some newer touchpads there are no actual buttons and clicking is done by pushing near the button of the touchpad itself. So some systems will not have separate buttons but uh, the um, position uh, can be identified and we can do this uh, left click and right click in the touchpad itself. Let's see what's the difference between a touchpad and a touch screen. Mostly found on laptop computers but also used on mobile devices. This touchpad is uh, mostly found in laptops and also we can see it in mobile devices but touchpads on today's mobile devices such as smartphones and tablet computers have been replaced with the touch screen which is used much like a touchpad except the screen is built into the touch sensitive surface itself so that no mouse cursor is needed so we can uh, replace the touchpad with the touch screen and most of the smartphones are using the touch screen facility. One can just touch anywhere on the surface to choose what is on the screen at that part. Next we will uh, see what is a trackball. You see it is a input device that is mostly used in notebook or laptop computer instead of a mouse. This is a ball which is half inserted and by moving fingers on the ball the pointer can be moved. It's uh, similar to mouse but uh, the ball is in the upper part rather than in the lower part that is found in uh, the mouse and we can uh, move the ball uh, using our fingers. Since the whole device is not moved a trackball requires less space than a mouse. That is the major advantage of using trackball. A trackball comes in various shapes like a ball, a button or a square. So this is all about trackball. And next one is video digitizer. Digitizer is an input device which converts analog information into digital form. Digitizer can convert a signal from the television or camera 
into a series of numbers that could be stored in a computer. This can be used by the computer to create a picture of whatever the camera had been pointed at. It is also known as tablet or graphics tablet as it converts graphics and pictorial data into binary inputs. It uh, converts the uh, analog signals to digital signals as well as it converts the graphics and pictorial data into binary inputs. A digital uh, graphic tablet as digitizer is used for fine works of drawing and image manipulation applications. A video digitizer takes an analog video still frame and converts it into a digital still image. Next one is remote control which is uh, familiar to all of us. Uh, it is also known as clicker. It is an electronic device used to operate another device from a distance usually wireless. In consumer electronics, a remote control can be used to operate devices such as a television set, DVD player or other home appliances. It, is, uh, it can allow operation of devices that are out of convenient reach for direct operation of controls. They function best when used from a short distance. This is primarily a convenience feature for the user. It is not doing any other um, special functionality. It is used for the convenience of the users. In some cases, remote controls allow a person to operate a device that they otherwise uh, would not be able to reach as when a garage door opener is triggered from outside. Now you may experience like a remote control gates uh, or uh, we can operate it um, to um, open the door and all. Uh, so in any case, we can use this remote control. Thank you very much. Uh, let us continue with the input devices. Uh, I am being uh, slow with uh, several other assignments uh, like uh, university exam duty uh, for the practical examinations and all. Uh, so whenever I uh, get the time, I will upload uh, the materials. Uh, you learn uh, accordingly. Uh, thank you all.